My name is Kaito Shigara, 26. I'm a cleaner. I'm glad you came. I waited for you, Mr. Cleaner. Hello. I didn't think I'd make your acquaintance again so soon. I'm sorry to ask you so often, but you're the only one I can rely on this time. Huh. There's something I want you to clean up for me. You're the only one I can ask. Only a pro cleaner like you can do this. Don't exaggerate. You only want me to clean up a room, right? The owner of this dirty room was Satoru, my classmate from high school. I thought it was slovenly back then, and it appears that hasn't changed. <laughs> hey, Satoru, cleaning rooms is my job. I'm not a personal cleaner for my classmates, you know. I made a mess in my room on purpose so that my beloved friend wouldn't be short on work. Stop calling me out after this. I'm not even supposed to do call outs in the first place, but everyone started to take it for granted that I'll come out since you started requesting me. Wouldn't it be awkward having my room cleaned by some old lady I don't know? Isn't it more awkward for me to be seen by people I know? Ever since I landed my job as a cleaner, I've cleaned all sorts of homes. With that, I also came to clean the home of my acquaintances from time to time. When the rumor that, Hey, I heard Kaito's the cleaner now, spread, the number of requests from people I knew also increased. We're not a big company, so I'm pleased to be getting more customers through word of mouth. One day, I received a request from a new customer and made my way to a room in a certain mansion. Hello, Nico Nico Cleaning. Yes? Nico Nico Cleaning? What's that? Um, I received a request from your parents, but perhaps you weren't told? I already received payment. Wait, did they tell me? You say that, but I bet you're actually some kind of door-to-door -door salesman. I'm not! I'm genuinely only here to clean your room! Kaito... Shigara? Huh! No way! Is that really Kaito Shikara? I had a feeling when I saw your name on the request form. But are you Alina Mochizuki from high school? Uh, is Kaito actually my cleaner? Oh, give me a break! The acquaintances like Satoru who intentionally put requests in for me are all guys. I guess it's not unusual for a girl not to want to be seen by people she knows. I can phone the company and request a substitute if you like. I understand it might be awkward with someone you know. Um, but is that okay? Won't the people at the company get angry with you? There is that. I'd suspect I'd done something rude, so a report would have to be filed just in case. I'd feel guilty if it came to that, so it's fine. You can do it, Kaito. You don't have to do anything you don't want to, you know. Your room is your private space, so your feelings are what's most important. <sighs> I see you're as kind and polite as ever. I actually want you to do it now. Would you help me? Uh, yes! Alina was my classmate back in high school, and I looked up to her at the time. She was so beautiful that she was said to be out of everyone's league which is why I graduated high school without telling her about my feelings for her. Kaito, how have you been? I've been doing well. And you? Do I look well to you? She has changed quite a bit since high school. Forgive me, but among those who request cleaners, there tend to be a lot of people who aren't doing well, particularly mentally. Mentally? Yeah, you're right. I found a job like normal when I graduated college, but I couldn't adapt to the workplace, and I got ill. My co-workers didn't like me because they thought I was using my looks to curry favor. I didn't feel welcome, and I ended up leaving after a year and a half. After that, I became a shut-in. I didn't feel like doing anything. I've been living as a hermit for over a year now, eating away at my savings. But I know that's no excuse to let my room get so dirty. I have to request someone to come and clean it for me. It's embarrassing that I can't even clean my own room. I don't think you're someone who's incapable of cleaning their room, though. You just haven't felt like doing anything for the past year. Back in high school, your desk area and locker were always tidy. And you took the initiative when it came to cleaning up. 
I did. Uh, I've lived in a dirty room for so long that I don't remember anymore. Once the trash starts piling up, it's strange how quickly you can stop caring, huh? But I'll be glad if I can remind you how good it feels when your room is clean. Wow! It's so clean! Does it feel good? It feels great! <laughs> I'm pleased to hear it. I believe there are roughly two types of emotions people experience when their room is clean. A good feeling, or a feeling of restlessness. People who feel good are those who are capable of working hard to maintain their room in its clean state. Those who feel restless tend to go back to having a dirty room relatively quickly. I see. Well, that wraps up my work. Take care. Um, I want you to keep quiet about this to our classmates. I won't tell them. We keep private information acquired during the course of work private, so rest assured. Okay. Um, can I ask you one more thing? Can... Can I change? Can I become fresh and tidy like this room? If it's all right with you, how about working with us at our company? We're recruiting cleaners. With cleaning, it's easy to understand the results of your hard work because you can see them as you go. So I'm sure it will give you confidence that there's something you can do. Certainly. Maybe it could be good as mental rehabilitation, too. Huh? Could someone like me do it? Even though I'm chubby and untidy? You'll be fine if we all work together. It'll even help you lose weight. After that, Alina started working with me as a cleaner. Alina, who had always been a diligent and detail-oriented person, rapidly improved her cleaning skills and became an asset to the company. She gradually regained her spirit due to receiving gratitude from people. Because of her hard work as a cleaner, she became as slim as she'd been in high school. And so... Kaito, thank you for helping me change so much. You're so kind and I have feelings for you. Won't you be my boyfriend? I'm pleased. But are you sure about this? I can't imagine being with anyone else. Uh, besides, I hate the thought of you dating some other girl. I want you to be my Kaito. Well then, I gladly accept. For Alina, requesting a cleaner and having her room in spotless became a turning point. Although it was thanks to Alina's hard work that she was able to turn her life around like that, I'm proud I was able to help her do so. It's been a while. I've been waiting. You asked me not to request you, so I didn't request you, you know. How was it? You were lonely, right? If you want to see me, just invite me to your place normally instead of through work. Wow, isn't my classmate just charming? Anyway, I got the most wonderfully filthy room ready for you this time. Clean it to your heart's content. Well then, Alina, shall we go in? Huh? Alina? Okay, let's do this. Huh? Is that... Elena Mochizuki? <gasps> Satoru Kichima? I haven't seen you in ages. <sighs> Why are you cleaning with her, Kaito? Hold on a minute. There's no way I can let Elena in a room this filthy. Sir, please calm down. We came here to clean it after all. Wait, wait! I can't let you see it! It's okay. No matter what I see, I won't tell anyone. I... I'm sorry! I'm sorry for being so lazy and not cleaning up all this time! I'm gonna turn over a new leaf and start cleaning up from now on! Excuse me! <laughs> Thanks to the Alina effect, Satoru's room never got messy again. And we all lived happily ever after. How do you think you guys would react if you requested a cleaner and a super cute girl like Elena turned up? I'm a little curious. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell for notifications.